Hello, foul tarnished. The Souls games have always had some entertaining voice acting, and they've never been better than in Elden Ring. So let's take a look at and a listen to every voiced character in the game, starting with the bosses and NPCs of the base game, before moving on to the DLC. Margit, the Fell Omen, and Morgoth, the Omen King, both have exactly the same accent, which is a sort of RP English. Emboldened by the flame of ambition. Someone must extinguish thy flame. Godric the Grafted, the cosmetic surgery addict that still somehow looks more human than Katie Price, speaks with a heavy West Country accent, which was very unexpected and a hilarious surprise to me. Mighty dragon. There is a true born heir. Lend me thy strength, O kindred. Deliver me unto greater heights. Rikard, Lord of Blasphemy, speaks in what I can only describe as snack English. <laughs> Gurank, the beast clergyman, who's also Maliketh, speaks in a gravelly Welsh accent. More death. Become my blade once more. Melenia speaks in a very RP accent, befitting what is essentially a demigoddess. Heed my words. I am Melania, Blade of Mikola. And I have never known defeat. Moog, the man who it turns out did nothing wrong, speaks in a rough cockneyish accent. Welcome, honoured guest, to the birthplace of our dynasty. Godfrey, first Elder Lord before he turns into Zangief, speaks in an RP accent with a heavy slice of West Country. Sir Gideon Offnir, the all-knowing smartass, speaks in a northern Lancashire accent, which was hardly a stretch for his voice actor as Joe McGann is from Liverpool, which is right next to it. Oh, this is a rare occasion. I can't remember the last time a new tarnished made their way to the round table. Merchant Carly seems to have something of a light Middle Eastern accent going on. There are others of my people who yet survive in these lands. If the mood takes you when you meet one, then offer them some trade, won't you? The rest of the nomadic merchants all seem to have a Cockney accent. Back already? Unusual fella, aren't we? Did this aged merchant have something that caught your eye? They can play the hell out of whatever that instrument is too. Sorceress Selin speaks in a Welsh accent. Get used to that because you'll be hearing it a lot from various characters. Tarnished, are we? No wonder you should turn up here. I am Selen, a sorcerer, quite plainly. Why are you here? Smithing Master Hugh has a well-spoken estuary accent. Well, where have you been hiding? I took you for dead. No matter, it's all the same. Lay out your arms, then. Rodrika speaks in a soft Birmingham accent, which is perfect for her personality. I need to warn you about something. A little while ago, someone started lurking in the wing on the opposite side of the round table. And I can hear, from all the way over there, the howling and wailing of spirits in fear of a curse. I can even hear the repulsive twisted malice in itself. Sorcerer Thops, like almost every Carrion native, speaks in a strong accent of the valleys. So you found yourself a glintstone key, but I certainly can't take it from you. Muriel, Pastor of Vows, speaks in a refined upper-class accent. You know, it's said that Lord Radigan harboured a secret. A famed sculptor of the Erdtree capital was once summoned to render Lord Radigan's likeness in giant stature. When he glimpsed the skeleton in Radigan's closet, 
And as such, it's said the great statue harbours his secret too. War councillor Iggy has a roaring Welsh accent, and just who wrote that giant book he's reading? And what's it about? Well, look at you. We don't receive many visitors. I presume you are uh, tarnished? What brings you here? Sorcerer Roger speaks in a Midlands accent, possibly Nottingham. I had a little mishap, and now I can't move. As you might guess, it's far from ideal. Bok the Seamster sounds like he's from Reading or somewhere around that way. Ricky Gervais land. Bok the Seamster, at your service, master. Ready to make adjustments to your garments. D, Hunter of the Dead, speaks in a depressed northern accent, which is pretty much every northern accent. The village here has been touched by death. Turn back while you still can. Corin speaks in a well-spoken Astri accent. Oh, I see you've just arrived. Welcome to the Round Table Hold. I'm Corin, a man of the cloth. Knight Bernal is a tough old fighter with a tough old northern accent. Not seen you before. Name's Bernal. Tarnished, just like you. Let me ask you something. Are you here in the lands between to take up the fight? Pidia, carrion servant, speaks like a Welsh version of salad fingers. You? I am sorry, your worship. I apologize for any offense given. I am Pidia. Servant to the Carrion royal family. Renala, Queen of the Full Moon, is another Welsh lass. Ah, now, is it thy wish to yet again be born anew? Melina is very proper sounding in RP. But you, I am afraid, are maidenless. I can play the role of maiden. Iron Fist Alexander speaks in a great Shakespearean accent. Upon their southern edge is Redmain Castle, in which a festival of combat is being held. I'd heard whispers of such festivities before. Doesn't the notion set your breast a flutter? <laughs> bloody finger hunter Yura, who needs to get a bloody move on next time I'm trying to fight Neregis at level 8, sounds very northern. Ah, you must be the new Tarnished. You do well to steer clear of a gill lake, fledgling. A dragon roosts there. White Mask Var, who essentially calls you an incel the second you start the game, speaks in a snidey RP accent. Unfortunately for you, however, you are maidenless. Fia, the deathbed companion and ideal wife of Rupert Murdoch, sounds like she's from one of the posher boroughs of London. Circumstances have compelled my stay at the Round Table Hold. Great champion, would you allow me to hold you? But briefly. Castellan Edgar, who's watching a battle like a coward over saving his blind defenseless daughter, speaks in a West Country accent. Ah, uh, there's a face I've not seen before. I'm Edgar, warden of this castle, as ordained by Lord Godric himself. Said daughter, Irina, also has a light West Country accent. Is somebody there? Might I bend your ear for a moment, please? My name is Arena. I've escaped from Castle Morn to the south. As does Hyetta. And they share an appearance. Hmm. Hello? Is someone there? Would you donate any Shabriri grapes in your possession to me? Kenneth Height speaks in a haughty RP accent. I'm still waiting for that knighthood, by the way, Ken. Ah, you, is it? I suppose you must have seen it by now, yes. The sorry state of my foot. Oh, indeed, it is a foul fate for a land to be without a ruler. Dialos, who I like because his dialogues are very short, I'm looking at you, finger maiden Enya, speaks in a Manchester accent. Ah, hello. You must be new here. I'm, well, just call me Dialos. The honor of one's house holds little import in these lands. Patches, who by now must only be tricking the stupidest of tarnished, hollows, risen ones, etc., speaks like a South Londoner. Well, you joined the manor, huh? I don't believe it. Didn't think you had it in you. And here I thought Raya was barking up the wrong tree. All good, though. 
We're on the same side now. Finger reader Enya has a sort of Middle Eastern accent, and God knows she likes to use it. Maybe thousands upon thousands of moons before the fingers again offer their guidance. Oh my, oh my, whatever will you do? The finger reader crones all sound like they're from somewhere near Bristol. Look like it too. For you are the one who will be Lord. Tanith speaks in a perfect RP accent, which wouldn't be out of place in House of the Dragon. Fitting as she's voiced by Yara from Game of Thrones. The drawing room is through the hall. Use the key I handed you and make yourself comfortable. Raya the Scout and David Icke's Wet Dream speaks in a soft RP accent. Hello again, brave tarnished. As a scout, I am pleased to see you again here at the Volcano Manor. Nefali Lu, unsurprisingly being Gideon's adopted daughter, also speaks in a northern accent. It's about time I headed off. I'll see you again, warrior, should the fates deign it. The Dung Eater has a sinister Brummy accent, sort of like Ozzy Osbourne if he was as evil as his musical themes. You have felt the curse. I can smell it on you. The box, yet tender. Apparently my seed bed is ripe and waiting. It was a brief respite, I must say. Gatekeeper Gostock, much like his hated Master Godric, speaks in a West Country accent. Now, I suppose I'm free. I can do whatever takes my fancy. <laughs> can I? Mate. Riley the Witch speaks in a delightfully lilting Welsh accent. Wales is really getting some rep in Elden Ring. A pleasure to meet thee, Tarnished. I am the Witch Renna. I'd heard tell of a Tarnished hurtling about atop a spectral steed. And upon looking into the matter, the talk, I surmise, is of thee. Preceptor Selvus, much like all of Rani's gang, speaks in a posh Welsh accent. Well, well, you took me at my word. Did you not realize I was merely being polite? Oh, you provincials never cease to amaze. Blyde the Half-Wolf is another representative of the valley, speaking in a light Welsh accent. The furry simp. Who goes there? Carly sent you, did he? Hmm. The name's Blythe. I'm looking for a man who goes by Darrowell. He fled somewhere nearby. Or so I've heard. Sage Gowry has an evil upper class accent. Oh, a pleasure to see you. A pleasure indeed. I am Gowry, a great sage. In my day, anyway. Millicent is very well spoken, and RP like a princess. Who's there? Well, it matters not. If you are wise, you will leave immediately. My flesh writhes with scarlet rot. The tenor, the Albanoric, is Welsh. Surprise. Fell tarnished. What do you want? I told the all-hearing brute that I possess no such medallion. Old Albus speaks in probably the most Welsh accent in the game. My legs will soon fade, and with them my life. Alas, this is the immovable fate of all Albinorix. Shabiri, who is wearing Yura's corpse by this point, is also wearing his northern accent. Burn the earth tree to the ground and incinerate all that divides and distinguishes. Ah, oh, may chaos take the world. Witch Hunter Jeren speaks like an upper class Englishman. At last. The war festival has ended. Brave champion, you have our gratitude. Blackguard Big Bogus, the surly chap who becomes your instant best mate if you buy some of his crabs, sounds like he's from Manchester. Ah, that necklace what you're after, is it? Mm. Well, show me what it's worth to you, and I'll consider parting ways with it. I'm not in love with it or nothing. D, Beholder of Death, unsurprisingly sounds exactly like his twin brother. Uh, 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 
<laughs> Jar Bayan, who single-handedly brought back the term cuz, has a well-spoken home county's accent. Hello, cuz. What are you doing here? I didn't think anyone knew about this place. Except us jars. And now for Shadows of the Erd Tree. Mesmer the Impaler sounds suitably noble and royal when he's not hissing. Yet, my purpose standeth unchanged. Those stripped of the grace of gold shall all meet death. Sword Hand of Night Jolan, the incredibly rude bodyguard of that old sod that lives in the creepy cathedral, speaks in a prim and proper upper-class lady accent. I've no interest in small talk. My only concerns are the concerns of Count Emir, and you are not among them. Midra, Lord of Frenzy's Flame, speaks in an elderly RP accent when ceasing to do his unicorn impression. I have endured more than enough. They ask you forgive me, dearest Nanaya. Mikola, the ultimate femboy, has a very posh accent like a princess. Both your deeds will ever be praised in song. Now, the vow will be honored, and my lord brother's soul will return. Sir Anne's back sounds rightfully upper class. It beggars belief. I'm afraid Tender Mikola fails to grasp the humiliation implied by this act. One thing is certain. My dear lord deserved better. Redmayne Freya is as Irish as Guinness and Father Jack. By my lord, will I ever make sense of this jumble? The Horn Scent speaks in a West Country accent. We meet again, I see. Comrade in arms. Upon his end. Did you see Mesmer's face? Egon, who, let's be honest, has the best vocal performance in the game, speaks like a deranged pirate. Curse you, Bale! I hereby vow you will rue this day! Behold, a true Drake warrior, and I, Egon! More, the dimwit in the stone armour from Dark Souls 1 speaks in an RP accent. I don't feel it. It's broken. Kind Mikola's light is gone. Needle Knight Leda is as northern as a pint of bitter and chips and gravy. Ah, there you are. I've made up my mind. The Horn Scent is no longer a mortal danger. With his grudge against Sir Mesmer Settle, his blade is bent by madness. Theolia, in between crying because he's so self-loathing, speaks in a northern accent. Oh, um, are you not affected? Even with the spell broken, I'm feeling rather lost, haunted by memories. Horn Scent Grandam sounds like an elderly Irish woman. Heaven's great and gallant sculptor keeper, I know it in my bones. Thy deed is done. Count Ymir is another upper-class posh villain. There must be a school churning them out somewhere in the lands between. Ah, you met Julan. Well, I hope that she behaved at least. The poor girl has overcome grave misfortune. The Dragon Communion Priestess has a very upper-class RP voice. Warrior true. Picture yourself. Feasting upon a dragon's essence. On the throbbing heart of the oldest, vilest dragon of them all. Fire Knight Quiline, possibly the most inept invader since Kirk from Dark Souls, sounds suitably posh. Oh. Oh. I would not. Am I not pure? Defile thee, I would never. Saint Trina, the other half of Mikola, sounds like the ghost of a little posh girl down a well, which is basically what they are. Mm. Mikola, stop. Don't turn the poor thing into a god. 
If you enjoyed the video, please do subscribe, it really helps. Bye then.